Bonjour, mes amis. Welcome to France. And episode one in the Big Breakfast Challenge. <laughs> oh, yes. So we are undertaking Mr. Walker Entertainment's Big Breakfast Challenge in this new series. And uh, this is where we are. We are on the Campaign of France map. Very beautiful French sort of countryside thing. Fairly low-key kind of deal. And... Uh, what we are going to do is open this wonderful gate. That's the sign out the front of our new farm. And uh, we're going to go through some of the rules and regulations of this challenge. While we look at our lovely house. Oh yes. So, uh, yeah, this is the Big Breakfast Challenge by Warco. And uh, essentially the idea is we are going to collect a number of breakfast food type materials. And uh, sell a bunch of stuff. So, uh, what we need is uh, sort of basic rules. Uh, obviously, we start on farm manager, and uh, you get one one and a half million to buy what you need. Now, I didn't spend that much. I spent about eight hundred thousand all told, and uh, knocked the majority of it off. So I've now got just over fifteen hundred euros left. Uh, but yes, in terms of the actual challenge itself, uh, loans are not allowed, and nor is leasing equipment. Uh, contracts you can do so long as you've got the your own equipment to do them with. Uh, all animals must be taken from the um, uh, what's it, the animal dealer, and brought to the farm or the pens wherever they are. Uh, you have to do that all yourself, uh, which leads into the uh, required mods. Uh, but also with the animals, you have to grow your own feed and bedding materials for them. You can't just buy it from the store. You have to actually make it all yourself. Uh, but yes, the required mods. Uh, we are going to need the po, uh, po the potato, the potato processing plant, uh, processing mod, if I could get my words out, potato processing mod, the coffee production mod, and the animal transport trailer pack mod. Uh, all, all these um, things will be linked in the description, the, uh, the three mods, uh, and obviously all the um, uh, rules and information for the challenge, as well as Warco's little setup video that he did. Uh, so let's just walk a bit further down through the farm so we can look at a different building. Uh, so yes, the uh, the crux of the challenge, uh, obviously to start you're going to farm manager mode, uh, buy what you need, and uh, get ready to make a massive breakfast. Now, uh, as you can possibly guess, since we are on a French map, I'm doing a slightly altered continental breakfast edition. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be basically doing the same things, just with uh, a slightly more continental flair. Uh, so yes, what you actually need for the challenge, uh, we need to get uh, a full cow shed, and we need to get a tanker full of milk, or we need to get milk for the morning coffee because everyone loves a good cup of coffee with breakfast or tea or some other beverage but yes uh, yeah so we need uh, milk for your morning coffee uh, a dairy to make cheese we need uh, a pig pen for the uh, breakfast meats as it were sausages bacon all that fun stuff uh, chickens for eggs a bakery to make bread for toast or or other sorts of baked goods that you might want uh, tomatoes for the fry up fried potatoes and obviously coffee to go with the milk from earlier <laughs> uh, now as you can see we are looking at uh, a dairy which i already own uh, but we'll get to that in a second uh, so yeah in order to complete the challenge uh, you have to sell at least one full flatbed trailer of each product uh, for the case of milk uh, we're going to need a tanker so uh, you're probably looking at about 10,000 litres, something like that. And as we walk around the side here, you can see our nice uh, cow barn. That, I think that's the cow barn. Uh, and we've got a water tanker over here. I think that takes milk as well, but that's not what we're going to be use, using for actually selling off. That'll all come later on. Uh, but yeah, so obviously you need a tanker for um, uh, the milk so you can sell that. Uh, the animal transport uh, has trailers in it for pigs, but we just need to sell a large-ish trailer full of pigs, fully fattened and uh, ready for breakfast, as it were. And uh, the final part of the challenge you have to complete, uh, that you need to complete, is uh, to gain back the 1.5 million that we started with before we bought everything. So let's have a look at what we've got. If I pop up the old map here, 
uh, you can see uh, what are we oh, it's the worker map we want this one uh, yeah you can see this is the campaign of France map quite an epic map very nice uh, if I switch to the land that we own you can see we've got um, plot one here which is the main farm then uh, I've got field four which I have purchased for a specific reason and that is we are going to put the chicken coop eventually on that field uh, the reason is it fits perfectly on there once we've um, sort of cleared away the crop that's currently in there and got the money up to actually you know build it then uh, we also have plot 89 here which i think may have come with the farm originally in new farmer mode i'm not sure uh, that is basically a large flat um technically empty piece of land i think it's got a um cow barn or not cow barn and uh, like a pasture on it at the moment so we'll sell that likely and that's where we're going to build some of our uh, productions things like the coffee and uh, bakery and other odds and sods that we might need during the course of the challenge and then down here we've got plot 62 which comes with a pig pen if i remember correctly so if we switch back here now, it's not showing up there but i'm pretty sure there is a pig pen down there and one of the things i put in was this large greenhouse which is part of the map it comes on the map but that uh, that is our large greenhouse for tomatoes and, and other potentially breakfast related vegetables <laughs> something like that it, it'll all make sense later on uh, then uh, obviously up here this is yeah that's plot 89 there it doesn't show anything but like i say i think it's got pasture on it uh, and then uh, our field, our section up here where field one is, uh, yeah, plot one here reaches all the way up to this road. Now what we've got here is, uh, let's see, we've got a cow pen there, there's a sheep pen building, sheep barn there, which we may use. And uh, this farm actually comes equipped with a vending machine, cell point, and also, just in here if I can click on it, a dairy, yes. Which is very exciting and uh, i think we've got a silo there yep old grain silo a pallet storage which we may sell later on or use and i also built two greenhouses one is the coffee greenhouse and the other is the large greenhouse from the potatoes mod potato processing mod uh, that's so you can grow things like peppers and onions and potatoes and uh, I think you can grab potatoes in there uh, and other odds and ends that you need for the various recipes that come with the potato processing plant so uh, yeah that's that's where we are at so if I scroll down to here to the productions we've got yeah the dairy that is on the farm makes butter cheese I don't know why they're on let me turn those all off uh, deactivate uh, yeah we also have yogurt various fruit yogurts as well we can do strawberry, yogurt with strawberry, yogurt with uh, melon, and yogurt with apples. And that's something else we're going to be buying at some point too, because this is one of the uh, the extra continental breakfast features that we're going to make for uh, for this part of the challenge. And uh, yeah, this is the large greenhouse here. It does melons, strawberries, um, tomatoes, and red lettuce. I'm not quite sure what we use that for, but... Uh, some of the animals might actually take that as a food uh, food item, so we'll have to look at that as we go. Uh, then we've got the greenhouse here that does coffee beans, and the other large greenhouse that does peppers, cucumbers, and onions. Okay, it doesn't actually do potatoes then, uh, but those three are for the uh, actual recipes that the potato processing plant factory itself does. Uh, but we'll see those later on, obviously, once we get the... Uh, get the um the processing plant side of things uh so yeah this is the back side of our little dairy thing here i should be able to open this door yeah there we go and this is i think where stuff spawns and we drop stuff off here or something like that i've got the um markers turned off at the minute i should probably turn them on but we'll see later on if i can remember where everything is uh yeah so sheep over here now in terms of the equipment that we've got obviously we do have this water tanker here lizard 5000 liter i believe it does fuel water and milk and other stuff uh cow pen holds lots of cows uh let's have a look in here oh i did put in a little uh, tool garage um, workshop mod thing just in here 
So anything we need, we sort of back into here and we can modify it, repair it, whatever. Uh, we've got a cedar, the Amazon D93, D9 3000 Super, I think is what that is, yes. A uh, little three meter cedar. We've got a three meter cultivator, rabe, rubber, however that's pronounced, and a plow, which is a hard master 120. Very nice plow, that. Uh, we've got a couple of si uh, what are these called? Silage clamps? Yeah, silage clamps. These are from the Use of Leftovers mod. Now, I think the map originally came with silage clamps here, or possibly on New Farmer. Um, the site, there are silage clamps here, but these ones I had to put in myself because there wasn't anything here originally when I came on the map to start, so we put them in. Uh, they take... Um, some crops i think like root crops and straw and as well as grass and hay and chaff and around here we've got oh this is our field that we started with it's got sorghum growing in it at the moment uh, we do have precision farming turned on so i will have to look at purchasing soil information probably for these uh, these aren't big fields that we're working with so uh, it's probably not worth our time spending like 20 grand on the actual heart, um, soil sampling machine because uh, it won't, shouldn't cost much to actually um, just buy the data outright. Uh, now you can see here we've got a header for a harvester. It's a little three-ish metre, three and a half metre Deutzfar header. Uh, we'll see the harvester itself in a minute. Uh, down here we've got a, a Matra trailer. That's a little 8,000 litre trailer. It converts into a bale trailer as well flatbed type thing uh, if i open the door here you can see we have a tractor this is our one tractor it is a renault aries 610rz uh, i think the version we have has 100 horsepower on it give or take uh, it can go up to 194 i swear that tractor feels far too big for, for this map but it is just a small tractor uh, at least in terms of the menu so we've got that nice french renault tractor and this is our harvester a deutzfar m2680 fairly small fairly cheap i think it cost about 40 odd grand something like that 35 40 grand a uh, fairly small tank like three four thousand liters something like that uh, it's not too big but it should be perfect for what we've got going on here and the only other thing i think we've got is in the cow barn if i run over here quick we have ourselves a ah yes here we go uh, we've got a mower a robert uh, f2800 a little sort of brush mower i guess i'm not sure what that is a flail mower maybe and uh, we've also got the qn tc 320 that is a tedder slash um windrower it's kind of like the lo one that i usually use uh, in terms of it teds but it also swaths the ted as it were so you don't end up spreading the grass out it actually uh, sort of combines it more and this lovely little thing which i've been absolutely dying to use and never find a reason to the Avant 750. This is the larger of the Avant models. And we've got a bucket and a, a pallet fork at the moment. We might need a bale fork for it at some point, but we'll worry about that as we go along. Uh, that was the other thing I had. Uh, I know I only spent uh, like half the money, but that's because everything like the land and stuff around here is fairly cheap and i suddenly realized i had so much money left i could have bought literally everything i needed and uh, i had to make sure i kind of stopped and and, and uh, tethered myself a little bit to reality and didn't just buy everything outright so i'll give myself some stuff to uh I had some things to work for basically so this is these are the two greenhouses i actually did put these in myself and landscaped all around here a little bit uh, because this is basically just like a big grass meadow area so what we will be doing is mowing this at some point to get uh grass that's what happens when you mow a meadow you get grass <laughs> yes yeah, so uh, that'll be like to uh, to get our cows and possibly sheep on the go uh, we will need to get straw eventually um, 
sorghum we'll probably hang on to for chicken food. Uh, and the other field we've got around here right now is this one. This is field uh, whatever number it was. Uh, but this has canola in it, as you can see there. And this one is ready to harvest. So we will definitely be harvesting that straight away and probably just selling it, depending on uh, the time, you know, when the time's right, what the best price is. We've got a silo, we can pop it in anyway. So uh, what I'm going to do now is grab the tractor, I think, and drive up to where the pig barn is, if I can figure out how to get there. Because so I haven't really played on this map a great deal. Um, it is a conversion, I guess. Uh, it was bought over from FS19. I did play a little bit on FS19, and it, it is a very, very beautiful map. Very, very well done. Lovely scenery. Yeah. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see Mafeldin and myself there in my lovely farming attire. And let's just pull out and go honking down the road. If I get the mini map up, yeah, I'm pretty sure I go left down, not left, right down here. Lovely little French village. Now, there are a couple of fields right next to the um, farm that I will be looking to purchase fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, and like I say, it's all fairly cheap, like 20, 30, 40 grand for some of these fields. Um, I think the biggest ones, the, ironically, the farm plot itself was the most expensive. That was like 300 grand. But some of these fields, since they're not massive fields, I'm watching out for them. Um, yeah, since they're not massive, they, they don't cost a great deal. So, uh, yeah, I had to be very careful how much I actually bought. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our other plot that has the pig barn on it. Got a fantastic looking modern, modern pig barn up here. Uh, we do own this, this plot of land. Uh, open the door. Of course, I came in sort of the wrong way. But uh, yeah, this is our pig barn. Uh, can we go in through here as well? We can. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's got lots of opening doors. So I guess that's where we'll put the feed and... Uh, what's it have chickens? Oh no, they're just baby pigs. Ah, manure. So we will get... It's got its own sort of manure thing on it. Is that a door we can open? No? No. Okay. We can... Oh, okay, here we go. So, I would guess the feed and water gets piped in. It's already got water because it's a barn type building. It's plumbed in. So that's good. Yeah, and the pigs can wander around out here to their heart's content. Fantastic. Can we do anything with that? No, I can just simulate ducking under it even though it has no collisions, which is fine. <laughs> Oh yes, this is quite a nice looking pig barn. I haven't actually looked at this before. I don't know if we come in here to drop food off, but... Is that a door I can get through? No, it's not. Yeah, I can't even jump over the fence. Rude. Oh well, not to worry. Should be able to get out that way. There we go, hop over the fence. Oh, I see what I've done. i would um, opened this door. And that closes that area off. Yeah, that figures. Silly me. <laughs> Close that. We can go in this side as well. I hope. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, you can tell I've tested a lot of stuff on this map. I've no idea how my own barn works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, over here, this was the other greenhouse that uh, we did mention. And apparently I didn't landscape this properly in the front. Oh well. We'll sort that out later. Get a bit of gravel thrown down there. Uh, yep, so we'll need to get water, and uh, I think this is... Um, what's that? Like solid fertiliser it takes. And water and everything, so we'll get that all sorted out later on. So, yep, let's do that. I did close the door, didn't I? Yes, they're just very quiet doors. Now let's hop back in the old tractor and head on down the road to where that... Uh, other little plot of land is. I think it's just down here and over the bridge. I think it's over the bridge. If it's not over the bridge, I'm driving the wrong way. 
apparently I'm driving the wrong way anyway because there's a car coming up the road that I've ran into. Okay, fine. Well, let's take a little trip through the forest on this road here. If, is this... No, let's not do that. That's going to end very poorly. Okay, so this is a one-way road then. Well, you know what the smart thing to do would be? Look at the map. <laughs> so we are... Where are we? We are here. Okay, we are actually going the wrong way anyway, so yeah. Let's just go back up this one-way road. I don't remember seeing any one-way signs, but maybe there was. Oh dear, I think there was. No, that's not a one-way sign. Yeah, oh well. Maybe it's just a very thin road, very tight lane, that one. That wasn't where we were supposed to go anyway, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, some of these fields we might purchase in the uh, not-too-distant future, so we can hit the fence there. And uh, and not have to pay anyone money for hitting their fence. <laughs> It'll be our fence at that point. Uh, but yeah, you know, we can get, uh, get some of these fields going for um, crops, for animals and stuff. Uh, yes, uh, let's see now. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. This is, on the left here, this is our other plot of land. Now, yeah, it is definitely just a uh, a cow pasture at the moment. Let's see. Oh, cracky. Should be able to sell it if I... Yep. Oh, we can sell that for 15 grand. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hang on to that for a bit and uh, see how we feel about that later on. But, yeah, this is where we are going to put down... Oh, excuse me, had something stuck in my throat there. I'll edit the cough out, hopefully, if I remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've got um, we've got this, which is where we're going to build most of the productions on, I think. So that will be lovely. And now all we have to do is get back down to the farm. So how do we do that from here? Can we be cheeky, cheeky people and sneak by here on the grass. I think we can. Nobody saw that. I didn't hit anybody's crops. We are all good. Uh, yeah, so what are we going to do on this first... Uh, uh, am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Okay, well, let's go round the roundabout. And we can see the biogas plant here on the right. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be selling a lot of stuff to that. And these plums have caused an accident by the roundabout well done you silly people it's always the two cvs the old citroen two cvs always them causing the problems yeah animals deers in the road yeah, that could have been nasty even the deers are trying to cause an accident <laughs> but yes so we should be coming back up on the farm here lovely so yeah, our first goal of this episode is, now that we've waffled on for a solid 20 odd minutes, is to uh, get the harvest done on that field. And I think... Where are we going to go? Well, let's go around the backside and grab the trailer quick, open that door, get the uh, combine out, uh, and in fact, yeah, we might as well grab the trailer first. Because I don't know if it will fit out the side of that there. This probably will, but I don't want to risk uh, making a mess of our crops too much if I can avoid it. God. Okay. Oh, I'm well off, that's why. Let's do it in cab view. It would be much easier to see where I'm going. There we go. That's got it. Okay. Turn that off for a minute, open the door, grab the combine. Yeah. This is not the most modern of combines, as you can probably tell. But it should do us fairly well for what we need. We don't need a massive class Lexion or anything too big. New Holland giant thingamadoodle. Uh, we might at some point look at upgrading to a small class or a small New Holland or possibly even a case or something. Depends on what comes up on the market. 
Okay, so I don't know why I'm trying to look out the back of the thing. There's nothing, no way of seeing out the back there. Now, will this fit down here? Odds are not good. It's really tempting though, because it's right there, that field. Getting caught up on the fence there. I could turn those fences off. But we don't own that field, so I'm not going to. Now, this is not how you're supposed to do this, kids. <laughs> I'm glad it's such a small header. If I'd have been smart, I'd have got a trailer for it. I think I might have crushed a tiny bit of the crop. Ah, well. If we did, we did. These things happen. I oh, need to unfold the uh, harvester. There we go. Turn it on and start harvesting. What oh, cracky this thing's loud. Okay, I might have to turn the volume down on that just a little bit, possibly when editing. But, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should do it after we finish this row here. Let me go to the map and precision farming. Where are we now? I am going to purchase this soil information for this field. Where are we? Purchase information. So 350 for that. And we'll get it for this one as well. And 525 for that. Okay, so that's good. We've got that at least. I should have done that before I'd started harvesting, but hey-ho. That is the way the proverbial cookie crumbles. Now, I don't see us getting much in the way of uh, actual uh, crop from this, because it is likely as not an untreated field. Minimum of uh, fertilising and lime and other care work done to it. But that's okay. We will survive. <laughs> I mean, I could get out and check now, see exactly how bad it was, but maybe we'll do that at the end of the row. Yes. But it's not going to take long to harvest this diddy little field, and if we're lucky, we'll get maybe a thousand or two litres, a couple of thousand litres out of it. Not going to get a lot. Hope I'm not driving on. Oh, there's no field there. Okay, let's hop out quick and just check, see what it says. Yeah, nitrogen is absolutely terrible, and the pH is not a lot better. Yeah. Oh well. Not to worry. We can fix that because we'll likely as not have to. Uh, have to do a little bit of um, what do you call it work um, you know uh, redo the field a few times in order to get money to actually put down the chicken pen because I want to say it costs about 50 grand we'll check though once we've got the field done and have a little look and see uh, exactly what it's uh, what it's like lovely where are we at? 600. Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably get about 12 to 1500 off this, I would imagine. It's not going to be the most high yielding of fields yet. <laughs> now, I say yet because there is a good chance that uh, once we get it sorted, it will actually yield fairly decently for us, but. We shall figure that out as we go. I didn't actually look to see what the yield potential of it was going to be. Uh, but yes, so what else do we need to do? Well, we need to get water for the greenhouses and look at getting them going. I'll probably leave that for the next episode, though. Try not to do too much off camera so you can at least see what is going on with the challenge as we are doing it. 
that way. Uh, there won't be too much stuff hidden. Oh, I've got a bit of straw on this guy's uh, thing. Oh, that's another thing. I wonder if I have the straw does fertilizing mod. Uh, there's one that kind of makes the um, straw spray out of the back of the trailers like that when you shred it. Uh, makes it do as fertilizing. So I wonder if I've got that installed. I think I did. If I didn't, then oops. Because I did want to have that installed for this very purpose. Now, obviously we're going to try and use the majority of our own fertilising options because we'll have slurry and uh, manure and whatnot from the cows and pigs. I don't think we get anything from the sheep quite like that, so... That won't... Uh, yeah, but we should be good. Uh, although, yeah, that's one thing I didn't buy was any kind of... Um, Fertilising equipment. Oops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, because we may have to do some uh, some contracts at some point to get a bit more money in. Because obviously we don't have a whole lot at the moment with this... Uh, with the... Um, oh, cracky, wrong button. Don't run over the field. <laughs> Need every little bit of crop we can get out of this thing. There we go. Lovely. So we got uh, 1,205 massive litres. Let's see, did this... Uh, it looks like it might have... Yeah, I think it added a little bit of uh, fertiliser to it. Changed the nitrogen a little bit. Interesting. Come on, birds, out of the way. Let's go get the tractor. And unload our prize. <laughs> yes, all 1,200 litres of it. And we could check and see what we're going to get for that. It's probably not going to be a great deal. And uh, even if we do sell it when the price is right, I don't expect to get a great deal for that. Probably like a 1,000 per 1,000, something like that. Yeah, oh yeah, we're going to fit through here perfectly. Yeah, see, the tractor's the right size, the combine with the header on was a little bit uh, a little bit too wide because it was catching on the fence but there we go while that's doing let's check the prices canola is oh yeah almost exactly a thousand uh, let's see but it is december that it's going to be 1300 so yeah we might as well hang on to it for now just in case we get any more from contracts and stuff, if we do any. Uh, oh, no, that's the other thing. We do have... Yeah, I've, I've gone full crazy person mode for all of this. We've got precision farming, all the uh, things turned on. Stones, weeds, all that, which I think was actually part of the challenge. I, f I forget off the top of my head. Uh, I think it was the default for whatever farm manager comes with, plus you can turn stuff on. Um... Oh yeah, it is. I'm just looking at the list here. It does say farm manager and all on for the things like weeds and, and whatnot. Uh, I do believe precision farming and se seasonal growth are the optional ones, but I turned them on because I'm mad. <laughs> I'm a crazy person for this. Oh yes. So uh, what can we actually can't plant anything at the moment, which is fine. So when September comes, we will probably plant something else in this field. Okay, we've got all of that. Let's just get this out of the way. We'll drive down this way, I think, and just back around. Uh, before we do, let's have a look in the build mode at the chicken pen. Because the one we want to get is the one that comes on the map, which is this bad boy here. This is at uh, 60 grand. Okay, we are going to need a fair bit of money for it. But if I back out here, spin it around, bosh, 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 it fits basically exactly on where that field is. Yeah, I can't really zoom out any further. Yeah, it, it pretty much covers that entire field. And it can house up to 2,000 chickens. So as soon as we can get that in and on the go, we will have a dirty great big load of chickens going. We will have eggs for literally days. I'll turn that off for now. Uh, but yes, so this is the pretty much the end of the first episode, I think. Run this little bit back to the farm and then call it a day. So, yeah, next episode, what have we got left to do? Uh, we're going to try and get some of these greenhouses up and running. 
uh, may look at cutting the grass on the hill there. Um, we can't do anything with the animals yet until we can actually afford to, you know, sort of buy them, because we don't have a lot of money, and I don't know what the uh, monthly, not rent, but charges will be for uh, the buildings, you know, power, water, um, all that fun stuff. Uh, let us just offload the canola out the back of the trailer there. Lovely, into the silo. Splendid. So that is all good. Uh, possibly next month the sorghum will come up. Uh, that will likely as not just save four chicken feed. Unless we can sell it. We might sell it soon, sooner than later. Depends on, uh, like I say, it mostly depends on the chickens, uh, how soon we can get them as to how long we'll keep that stuff for. So I'm just going to back this up here, go and get the harvester, bring that back around. And, oh, actually, no, I don't think I need to. Let me check. When does sorghum come up? Sorghum, that doesn't come up until, crikey, next year? No, wait, when the harvesting season now? So, yeah, that's probably going to come up next month then. So... What I might do is just leave the harvester where it is and start on that side of the field. That could work wonders for us. Uh, yeah, so, well, there you have it, uh, folks. Um, next time we'll probably come back since we're still in August and it's still daytime, as it were. We're on one day season, uh, one day months. Uh, we'll probably come back and start doing some mowing or something next time, maybe. Um, and then switch over and see if that sorghum is ready to grow. Uh, ready to harvest, rather. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's it. This is the end of the first episode of uh, the Big Breakfast Challenge Continental Edition. <laughs> uh, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, whatever this was, and uh, I hope we will see you next time. So, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, please uh, give us a like and hit the old subscribe button there too if you have not already. Uh, comments are always welcomed, and if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, I shall bid you all farewell. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone.